Hi, I'm Jake with Aero Building, and today we're at our Glen Eagle edition. This is a project that we're working on with Brian Morgan Architects here in Columbia, Missouri. And this is a two-car garage and a 1,000 square foot master suite edition that'll be above it. But today we're talking about foundation waterproofing and water management. The first layer that you can't see is just a regular foundation coating, tar coating. You know, the guys put on the full suit, they roll it on, they use chip brushes to fill in all the cracks. We make sure that we have everything sealed. And that's the traditional method that, say, 15 years ago, if you had a foundation done in our area, that's what you would have gotten. The problem with that is if you have any cracks, you may get a uh, large enough opening that water could find its way in. So what we do is next is the black mat that you can see. It's tapconned in place. It has a cap across the top, and it has a, a void on the back side of it so that there's no uh, ability for water to find its way in because it has a clear path all the way down to the footing. Once we get down to the footing, that dimple mat turns and runs out. It runs out and to our perforated pipe, our perforated drain tile. That drain tile has a filter fabric underneath of it, a layer of one inch clean gravel, then our drain tile with the holes facing down, we'll get back to that in a second, and more gravel on top and then filter fabric. And then for us, you can see the top of our filter fabric now, everything's there already. I'll lace in some photos of what we did on the way to this point. We'll throw a little more gravel on top of this just to keep it from moving around while we backfill uh, in, our, in our lifts. We don't want it to move around when we start putting dirt back in the hole. So the reason we put our, our holes down on our drain tile is we want to catch that water as soon as possible. If it's coming from the, from the ground up, if it's seeping, we want it to get into that pipe and have free space to take off. We really think that this is our best practice method. We have the tar, the mat, and then all of our filter fabric and gravel around our drain tile. Any water gets in there, we shouldn't have any problems managing it, getting it away from the foundation and not worrying in the future about whether or not this is gonna be waterproof. Look us up on Facebook, Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thanks for your time.